And this component I just put together today. So what it does is um, it allows for if this script needs a script in in the scene, then you can add that attribute to the file like here. Um, for this to work, it requires a commands behavior. So if I delete the commands behavior, let me lock the inspector. So now it it automatically shows that it needs one in the scene. So you can attach it to this component or add it to the scene, but it needs one to work. And that's what that drawer does. And so how it works is um you define the type of component you are looking for and you add that as a parameter to the property attribute and um, we look for it here in the scene we cast the attribute from our regular property attribute into the type we're looking for we call the above method to s check if the components um, can be found in the scene if it's not found in the scene we reset the height of the property drawer so it can accommodate a help box we add um, the Y and height position Y and position and the height of the post seating property I don't know if that's even a word <laughs> and this is the actual com um, object drop box If we can't find a property, we need a, a a taller property drawer. So we we add to the property drawer. All right here, I should actually be using because I know what I need the single line height and um, add three to that. A 2.0 is a, usually a decent padding. That's what Unity uses. So that's the drawing part of. Um, custom property drawer for the required and hierarchy ar attribute and here's the attribute so we have a read-only type that you set in the parameter and it's used we were looking at numbers I believe so it's used in this manner so we require commands behavior sure so we add the property field and we tell it the type we require so if this type does not exist in the scene it'll let you know that it's required it uh, can some amounts to kind of like um, when you press play and you access the component and it gives you a null reference but it prevents well not prevents but it's a step in the right direction in my opinion to prevent that from happening so before I access the component here I would all already receive the message in the scene. So that's how you use it. Pass it a type. And the property drawer takes care of the rest.